Good evening, everybody. Okay, so I'm just going to play a little bit of background music while we wait for everyone to jump on live. So I'm just waiting for my lovely guests to hop on tonight and anyone that's in the group. Big one welcome. My name is Michelle Bodden. I'm a Regional Vice President with Arbonne International and we've got a real treat in store for you this evening. So we'll get started in just one minute. Okay, we've got Lucy on. Evening, everybody. Just gonna give it 30 more seconds. Hello, Caroline. If you're watching in, let us know who you are, where you're watching in from. I know we've got people from all seven countries that are actually in this group. So thank you for joining us tonight. Okay, let's get started and if you're watching the replay, just put a little hashtag replay in the comments as well. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, so I know a lot of you have been in this group for some time now um, and you've been thinking about the album opportunity and I just thought how amazing would it be to really give you another brief overview of what this business is, especially while we've got that free sign up until the end of tomorrow, but to bring in people from all different backgrounds, from all different levels in the business as well to share this with me. So my name is Michelle Vodden and to give you a little idea of my background, I um, set up my own business when I was about 24, it was an events agency and I found work for dancers, models, etc and ran events and I did that for about nine years and then I decided to move into social marketing about six years ago. And the reason I did that is because I was starting a family and I realized that running a traditional business was actually like a full-time job in itself. So I'm now a mum of three, soon to be four, and it's just allowed me to be at home, be able to build my business pri primarily online um, and meet the most amazing people and to be able to just stay at home with the children but have something for me as well that I can build on a global scale as big as I want to. So I am going to invite the lovely Executive Regional Vice President Lucy Bardrick on to share a little bit about her, her story before we start the presentation. Um, and Lucy has grown a phenomenal business. She is almost at the very top level of Arbonne and she is still very much doing her passion um, she's very humble so she may not go into big details but she has literally just finished as co-choreographer on Mamma Mia 2 and on Beauty and the Beast. She has a phenomenal career in performing and choreographing um, and she's also a mummy now as well so if you're going to hear this from anyone um, then Lucy is an amazing person to validate this business for you. So I'm just going to do my little technical bit now. This is always interesting. Okay, it's not saying add next to you, Lucy. I'm not sure if you're on your phone. You may need to be on a mobile for it to work. Um, it's letting me allow everyone else. Oh, no. Um, Hayley as well, yours isn't saying to add too. So I don't know if you're on your phone device. Don't you just love the technical side? Um, Lucy, if you can request to join that would be amazing um yay yay thank you <laughs> there we go add lucy should be popping up any second approve okay keep pressing approve <laughs> I'll receive an invitation. Why is it not letting you on, Lucy? <laughs> Request being your broadcast approve. Okay, hopefully Lucy will pop up 
any second. Um, just while we wait for Lucy's um, approval to go through, I started my business six years ago um, and I'm based in Driffield, East Yorkshire. And the biggest thing I have discovered is it doesn't matter what career you do as a background, how busy you are, whatever you do right now, you can make this work in those little nooks and crannies, 15 minutes here, half an hour there. Um, so you can fit it in around a family, can fit it in around a job, it's, it's for everyone. And I would love for any guests in the group to challenge me by putting in the comment box what you do as a profession and then I will go away and I will find a national vice president, which is the top fourth level of Arbon, And I will find someone who has the same career background as you um, and family lifestyle. So I'm going to set that challenge. OK, I'm going to try again to get Lucy on. OK, let's see if this works. If I spin around... not liking it Lucy <laughs> I'm saying accept but it's not it seems to be working I've got a little camera button next to everyone else's face but just not on yours at the moment oh haven't had an invite let's try again okay I don't know what it's doing Lucy <laughs> I might just have to start and then come back to you. Oh, what a shame. I'm going to try once more. Allow viewers to send you a request. Okay, it's not letting me add you, Lucy, but if you can send me a request again, we're going to give this one more shot. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with us, everybody. Okay, yeah, log out and come back in. Brilliant like when your computer doesn't work isn't it just turn it off and on again it'll be all good <laughs> I'm loud and clear in the pub fantastically <laughs> hope they're all paying attention okay my I'm approving you Lucy it says adding Ooh, turn me around see if it's gonna <laughs> And like turning my phone around and everything, like yeah, they seriously can. Okay, so I'm going to pass it to you, Lucy. I've got Okay, so hello everybody, and thank you so much for introducing me, Michelle. For anyone who doesn't know me, um, and what I love is that. I was actually one of those people that Michelle would have, um, you know, given a job. I started living um, and working in London, trying to make ends meet, trying to pay the rent. Rent was the bane of my life. I never knew when the next paycheck was coming in for the rent and the bills. It was, it was really just like a bit of a vicious circle of always being worried about money. Um, but just not wanting to give up on my dream, which was to pursue a career on the stage. And I actually never, ever knew of anything else to do. When I was really young, I knew that I wanted to perform. I knew that there was nothing else for me in this world. So I actually left home and left school. I left Cornwall when I was 17 to move to London to pursue that career. And I just never looked sideways. Um, but then fast forward to when I was 25, living in London, I'd been graduated for five years. I had done some work, but the contracts always paid me peanuts. And I always knew I was worth so much more, but I didn't know how I could get more. Um, and then when I was 25, enter a fabulous lady called Melanie Dean in my life, um, who was also within the industry. She had her own production company and she hired me for some work. 
So when she called me saying, Lucy, I've got an opportunity I want to speak to you about, I literally, I could have bit, bit her arm off. You know, I was like, yes, I'll meet you there. I want to hear about it. Let's go. Let's get me my, my you know, my lead role in the next show. <laughs> like, I, that's what I thought this was all about. So I met her at a venue in London and I walked into this room and there were products on a table and there were other people sat around. And I just, I really didn't have a clue what I was there for. I really didn't. To the point that when they started talking about products, I just thought, oh my goodness, Mel, Mel's got the wrong person. Like she must think I'm someone else like, and, not, and for, forgotten what I actually do. But by the end of hearing the information, I literally, I couldn't really believe what I had just heard. I was one of those people that always thought, you know, I know that there's something more out there for me. I know I'm made for more. Because although I didn't want to give up my career, you know, I was working these part-time jobs that I hated in between. And they were really, it was really soul-destroying stuff. And I was, I always knew that I was meant for more. I just did. But I just had no idea in what form it would come. And that night, it came wrapped in a little gold bag with some products. And the name of it was Arbon. And honestly, since that night, I've never looked back. Like this business has categorically changed my life and not just financially. The financial help was what I needed and more financial security in my life. I, I was desperate for it. I didn't want to keep asking for help from the bank of mum and dad any longer. So I jumped in because I, I needed things to change financially in my life. But fast forward seven years and not only am I financially secure now, do I have financial peace of mind, which is priceless, but it's impacted my relationships, my performing career. Like Michelle was saying, it's, my performing career has gone to places that I only dreamt of achieving. And I know that that is due to the confidence, the self-esteem, the leadership skills, and many other skills that I have learned by growing an Arbonne business that have massively stretched me at times. This business has, I've been on a bit of a roller coaster, you know, but because of that and stretching my comfort zone, you know, consistently, I am now in a place where I never thought I could be before because I've grown as a person. Um, and I now own my own property. You know, like when I began this business, that was a dream. That was a, a dream that literally I just thought, you know, was never going to come true with what I was doing in my life at that moment in time. I own my own property. I've just had a baby boy. He's now 10 months old. And because of Arbon. I don't need to worry about maternity pay. I didn't need to take any maternity pay. So therefore, my husband could take shared parental leave and have that time off with us for this whole year. And I just, you just cannot put a price on those types of things. And that's what Arbonne's brought into my life. It's unrecognizable to where I was seven years ago when I began. So the truth is, none of that might appeal to some of you, but it just might be that Arbon could be your vehicle for the other things that you want to create in your life, which could be very different to mine. I'm just one example of how Arbon has helped me in many ways. So I would just say, listen with such an open mind, because I'm so glad that I did seven years ago, because life has changed um, immeasurably for the better because of this business. Thank you, Lucy. Thank you. I'm aware it's echoing when I'm on with someone else. So thank you so much, Lucy. And can I just say that everybody that's in this Journey to Nation group, one of us, would be in this group or would have heard about Arbon if Lucy had said no. So obviously when Lucy started her business seven years ago, she didn't realise the impact of her saying, yes, I'm going to go for it. But the impact is like, look what's happening. Look what, you know, movement we're creating here with just this group alone. So thank you so much, Lucy. Okay, I am now going to bring on Caroline if technology is going to be nice to me. Um, and I'm going to let Caroline tell you a little bit about who she is, what she does, and then she's going to talk to you about the heritage of our bomb. So take it away, Caroline, once it adds you in. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hello. Hello, 
recorded. <laughs> Hello everyone that's watching. Um, so just a little bit about me. Um, I have been working in the industry of theatre for my whole working career. So um, I started um, as a professional dancer many, many, many years ago. Um, and then I was very, very fortunate that when my performing career was naturally coming to an end, I was able to segue very stylishly into the backstage world of wardrobe, makeup um, and theatrical costume, which is where I've been working for the last decade on shows like um, Miss Saigon was the last show I did, Wicked, Hairspray, Footloose. So I've really had a fabulous time and I'm now currently on an apprenticeship as a theatre producer now which is another little journey but I first heard about Arbonne at the very end of 2013 by the absolutely incredible executive regional vice president Nicola Coates who I was doing West Side Story with and she introduced me to Arbonne um, and said that she thought I'd be great at it. Now I was probably one of Nicola's easiest yeses I think she'd probably say that because I heard the business presentation, the information that you're about to hear now, and I literally got it straight away. I was like, yep, brilliant, I'm in, I love this. I was actually at a point in my life where I was having quite a massive personal crisis. Um, my marriage was falling apart. I was having probably quite an early midlife crisis where I felt that I, didn't, I hadn't achieved anything, things were happening, and I felt like pretty much an epic failure. So the idea of something new was very, very appealing to me and came at just the right point. So I jumped straight in. However, skip to now, and quite often you'll hear with certain people that they have two start dates with Arbonne, and I am definitely one of those people, because I would say that I properly only started my business this summer. And that was purely because I just needed to actually build myself before I could build my business. And so I'm just speaking to any people out there that perhaps are lacking in self-esteem or confidence at the moment and don't think that they've got this in them. Um, what I've taken away from the business is actually the community element and the training and the personal development. That's what I've been working on. And now it's time for me to start working on building my fabulous network. Um, but yeah, I just, I know that for some people, um, confidence can be a big thing. So for anyone out there, just be brave. I never have regrets in my life. I think it's a waste of time, but my one regret is that I wasn't braver sooner. So don't let that be you. Anyway, I'm going to carry on because Michelle's asked me to just talk to you a little bit about who Arbonne is and the products, So, which I love to do that because I am a product princess. So basically, Arbonne literally means beautiful tree, and I think that that perfectly encapsulates um, the ethos of our company, the products, the people that work with it, the business. It really is a beautiful thing that just keeps on growing. So this was founded almost 40 years ago now, actually, by an incredible visionary called Petter Mork. Now, Petter was a Norwegian botanist, and he wanted to create the most incredible products that were pure, and they were safe to use, but they were also beneficial, so they had results as well. Now, I don't know if anyone can relate to this, but before Arbonne, for me, when I'm using products, I was constantly making the compromise. Was I using a product that was um, really good ingredients and I knew was safe to use, but wasn't really giving me the results I wanted? Or was I using something that was giving me the results, but I knew I was probably using something that was a bit dodgy? And I would just implore anyone to go and have a little look in their makeup cabinet afterwards um, or their bathroom cabinet and just have a little look at the ingredients list that's on the back of your products. This is not meant to be a real kind of, you know, lecture, but it's just until I was educated, your skin is your largest organ and it's porous. So whatever you put onto it is going to be absorbed into your skin. So you, we really have to be mindful about what we're using every single day. So that was one of the things that Petter really wanted to do that. But the other part of his vision was that he really wanted to create products that were able for the average Joe to use. He didn't want them to be so premium that they were sort of priced out of the market. And he also wanted the people that were working with and for him to be generously compensated as well. So we are built on Swiss heritage. And now everyone knows that if something comes out of Switzerland, it's probably going to be a pretty high quality when we think of chocolates or wristwatches or even skincare. It's always premium quality. So our products are really of this premium range, but they don't have the premium price tag that goes with it. And we are built to European standards. Now, this is something that I found really important because European standards in the industry are literally known as the highest level. Um, just to put it into perspective, we have over 2,000 ingredients that are on the not allowed list at, in, in the European standards. 
In America, there are 10 that are on that list. So that gives you a massive indication of exactly how safe and how brilliant and the high standards and the caliber of the products that these are. So we are obviously, um, we contain no nasties. We use pure botanics and we combine the best of pure botanics with green, clean science. So we really are making these cutting edge products that do give us results. And we have clinic, clinical um, results as well to, to back up the brilliance of these products. So we have no chemical nasties no fragrances, no synthetics, no dyes, no parabens, no formaldehyde forming, um, forming preservatives, literally nothing nasty at all, only pure, clean and green, which is fantastic. We are um, cruelty free, which was a biggie for me. Um, we are therefore vegan certified. We are gluten free as well, which is great if you think of anyone that's gluten intolerant. Again, skincare gets absorbed, not good for someone who's gluten intolerant. And we're even kosher certified certified as well. So I've just rambled on really quickly and thrown a lot of words at you. But as I say, I'm really passionate because these products really are great. And if you haven't tried any, then please ask the person that's got you onto this group because you have to try it to believe it. So yeah, as you can tell, I'm crazy passionate about the products because they are awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just aware aware that I'm I'm so I'll let you laugh. <laughs> Oh, Michelle, thank, thank you, Karen. Sorry. No. <laughs> How do I log off? I'm so sorry. <laughs> We've captured you now. You cannot leave. It's, it's not, not letting me leave. leave. <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm going to just come off. I'm going to exit and I'll come back on later. <laughs> Thank you, Caroline. One day we're going to nail this, girls, this technology. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Caroline. And that's amazing validation for someone that works with a lot of products as well. I was on, and it was definitely the education about how safe they were. But then, like Caroline says, you've got to try them to believe the results. So I'm going to add... Hayley in now, who's a similar background to Caroline, actually, an international makeup artist. Hayley, you've not got an ad button either. I wonder if you can add yourself, if possible. Um, I have known Hayley a long, long time. I met Hayley when I was doing Whole Fashion Week. She was doing the makeup on the models. Um, and she's just a phenomenal consultant and an amazing, beautiful person. Yep, it's not going to let me add you, Hayley, so I don't know if you can add yourself. If not, I'll, I'll crack on. You try and add yourself, I'm going to move on, just because I'm aware of time. Um, so, yeah, product overview. So we do over 400 products, um, everything that household would use. So when I looked at Arbonne, I was looking at it from a business point of view. So I think about if you've had a shower today, how many products have you used? And actually most people, females especially, use about 15 products a day. So we have something for men, women, babies, right through to anti-aging. We have skincare for every skin type. Our leading flagship range is on par with the leading dermatologist brand, yet purer and greener. So we literally have no competition. We have cosmetics used on the X Factor and Strictly and lots of films and lots of celebrity makeup artists are switching over. We have health, wellness and nutrition, sports nutrition, which is BSCG tested so professional athletes can um, use it as well and the armed forces. We have everything from shower gel, shampoos, conditioners, deodorants, toothpaste, a spa range, Anything you can think of that you use on a daily basis, Arbonne do, and every single product is amazing. When I tried them, I thought, surely not every range can be better than anything I've used before, and it really is. But thinking about it from a business point of view, there's two really important things if you want to build a strong, sustainable business. Whatever you're promoting and recommending needs to be consumable. It needs to run out and it needs to run out not every 10 years so that you've got that reoccurring income. So I realized that all these products 
were going to go on, get washed down the drain, people would rebuy because we have over 85% retention rate. So once you share these products with people, they generally will not go back to something else. Um, also, high market demand. So everyone washes every day. So everyone is already spending money on these products. So it's just about switching. Um, so yeah, we have everything that anyone could need male, female, and from a business point of view, that made my ears prick up because I thought it's not a niche market. I can literally share this opportunity and these products with anyone. Um, okay, so I'm gonna move straight on um, because I've not got a button for you here, Lee. We shall do another one, just the two of us. Um, so what is network marketing? When I heard this slide over a coffee six years ago, this is what got me so excited. Network marketing is a five-year plan. It is the biggest industry in the world. You take the film, music and gaming industry, put them all together, we are double the size of that and we are growing faster than any other industry out there. And then you team that up with health and wellness, which is the next trillion dollar industry. And that is why we are booming and set to be a billion dollar company um, very shortly. And network marketing is something that everyone that watches this will already be doing, but the chances are you're not getting paid for it just yet. So have you ever recommended a great restaurant, a film, a plumber? It can be anything. Um, so for instance, you recommend a restaurant to two friends, they go, they spend their money, then they tell a few friends, and then they tell a few friends. And before you know it, a year down the line, you have made that restaurant hundreds if not thousands of pounds because that compound effect kicks in. But they do not send a thank you check saying thank you for being the word of mouth recommendation. And that's what Arbon is. There's no paid advertising. Um, we don't pay a penny for advertising. It's just word of mouth recommendation. Um, and it's the only way really to create like wealth of time and money. Um, apart from if you had the investment, maybe 250 grand, you could invest in a franchise of Starbucks. Chances are that's going to bring you wealth, but you've got a full time job. Um, you could set up your own business and leverage time off 500 employees. But again, you need a really good skill set. Unless you're Richard Branson or Alan Sugar, you may struggle with that. Um, so network marketing is the only way that the ordinary person can build something that's going to give them time leverage, financial peace of mind, and doing it 10 to 15 hours a week and around another career if they choose to. So traditional retail, if you shop on the high street right now, 85% of what you're paying has got nothing to do with the product you take home. So 15% is um, for the product, 85% is for the manufacturer, the wholesalers, the warehouses, the advertising, all the celebrities you see on TV that make you want to go buy it. We actually pay for that. And then it goes onto the shelf for the consumer. So with Arbonne, we have taken away all the middlemen. So we have our manufacturer, and then we have the end consumer and you are the word of mouth recommendation. You do not have to take orders. We don't handle cash. You don't have to deliver anything. You just be a product of the product and use and recommend. So that in a nutshell is network marketing. It is the highest regulated industry that is out there. Um, and one in six people will be growing a network marketing business in the next few years. So will they be in your business or are you going to watch them build it with someone else? And for me, I just thought, no, I'm going to share this with everyone I know. Um, it's such an exciting industry. OK, so I'm going to bring on Deborah now, the fantastic Deborah Gotch. Let's see if it's going to let me. Oh, no, Deborah's not got a button either. Um, I've only got Sarah. Um, I don't know if you're on your phone, Deborah. It's not giving me an ad button. So if you want to try and add yourself... Press the little person with the double screen at the bottom. And if not, I'll just carry on. <laughs> Don't think it's going to let me add to you. Okay, so all we do basically as consultants is we stop, start, share. So I have stopped buying my products on the high street, giving the CEOs my money for a low quality product, bulked out with petroleum and God knows what else. 
Um, and I now buy all my products through my online store. I get Swiss quality at 35 to 50% off. And then I have gone out over the last six years and I have shared those products with people, either over a coffee, a glass of wine, um, at an event, taking them to a Discover Arbonne or online like this. I let them test drive the products and I follow up and I teach them how to shop online and have it delivered straight to their door direct if they choose to. And maybe if they also want to make an income, I'll then share how to grow their own business. And it goes on and on and on. So what I would like you to think about, oh, I think it's gonna let me add Deborah on so she can tell you about how that network compounds because this is the exciting part. Okay, I'm just gonna prove Deborah and take it away, Deborah. I won't talk because I know it's gonna echo. Um, and that's not nice, is it, when you're listening in? Okay, I've clicked add. Not adding you now. Doesn't seem to like adding some of you this evening. I'm clicking approve. Ooh. Okay, I'll carry on and hopefully Deborah will pop up in a second. Um, so I like to think about Arbonne as Facebook. So all those years ago when Mark Zuckerberg had that idea and he invited about five people into his hotel room I think two or three of the guys actually turned up. They're all now multi-billionaires. So firstly, it's about being open-minded and you're all open-minded because you're in this group. So that's a great start. That's definitely a trait you need. Um, and he set up Facebook and it spread across that university and then it went to other campuses and now it is just everywhere in the world. I think it would be the eighth biggest country in the world if it was a country. But I can probably guarantee no one in this group was actually added on Facebook by Mark Zuckerberg. So it actually shows you the power of, you know, the six degrees of separation. Everyone in the world is only separated by six people. So it's not about you knowing lots of people and having a huge network. I know people that have joined Arbonne and moved to countries where they know nobody and they have built to the top level. So it's about you sharing it with a few that share it with a few that share it with a few. Um, and actually 95% of my team I did not know before I started Arbonne. So and then now they're like my closest friends. So it really doesn't matter about how big your network is right now. Um, it is that powerful compound effect. So I'm going to bring Sarah on who's going to talk about globalizing. If it's going to let you on Sarah, you've got an ad button. I wonder why it likes adding some of you and, and not others. It's got favouritism, hasn't it? Um, so take it away, Sarah. Hi, so I'm Sarah. Um, my background is I am a dance graduate, so I have done college, uni, and um, took a year out, not by choice, but that's how long it took me to get my first dance job. Um, and when I got that, absolutely loved it. Um, such a fun sociable job but because I took the year out and I was doing six days and nights a week um it was very exhausting and I wasn't really eating properly and we know that you know it's really bad not to do that and I actually lost like two dress sizes in about three months which isn't great as you can imagine so as a result of that and other things going on at the time, I actually decided to take an old job back in retail. So I am a customer service assistant um, as well as doing my business with Arbon. So my why to doing Arbon and this incredible business is that I'm fed up of being stuck in that rut, doing the daily do. Um, I want to do something that I'm proud of, but also give my family is something to be proud of me doing as well. Um, I also want to be able to live a life of freedom and choices and have the time and financial freedom to, a bit, to be able to do that. And I don't have kids yet, but when that happens, I want to be able to be at home with them and without having to put them in childcare or feel guilty with by leaving them at home and me going to work just to scrape by at the end of the month and I know that that's how I'm going to feel like when that does happen because that's the kind of person I am and um, so this business can absolutely create that for me and it can absolutely do the same for you as well and um, 
we are globalising. So like we've said, we have the absolute stability of a 38-year-old company, but we have the growth of a new one. We are just growing and growing and expanding. And so we are in seven countries at the moment. So we are in America, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Taiwan, UK and Poland. But if you know someone that may know someone in one of those countries I've just mentioned, then you can potentially have a global business um, or run from your smartphone. You know, um, you don't have to have any of the traditional overheads that traditional businesses have. Um, and Arbon is online so everything is done on there so you don't have to do the delivery you don't have to do any packing you don't have to do you know handle money have an inventory nothing like that that is all done for you um and it's with social media being such a more used tool these days with a touch of a button, you can connect with people from all over the world. And that is then creating you this epic global business that can you can literally have. And like Michelle said, you may not know anyone, but you may have a friend who has a cousin who is in Australia. And then from that connection, you now have a global network that will pay you while you sleep from that connection that has come from Australia and that is really the true power of this business um yeah that is it <laughs> thank you Sarah I'll let you log off thank you so oh, much pleasure. thank you for having me you are oh, you're welcome it's lovely to see your face I know Lucy's got an amazing team growing in Australia so it really is that you know when Lucy goes to sleep at night, that business is turning over on the other side of the world. So I'm going to bring Lucy back on to finish now um, for our compensation plan. So these are the average UK earnings. If you are based in the other countries, do let us know and we can send the conversions for you. Let's see if it's going to let Lucy first. Go straight on there. <laughs> Take it away whenever you're ready, Lucy. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Brilliant. Amazing. Can I just say, like, I mean, everyone's been phenomenal tonight when they share. And, and I just think that something that you said, Michelle, after I jumped off, which was something I have honestly forgotten, which was if I hadn't said yes no one would be in this group right now. And it's really humbling to always remember that because we say yes for personal reasons to this business. But I just want you guys to know that if anything resonates with you, with Arbonne and you jump in, then literally you have the power to positively change so many people's lives. And some of those people you'll never even meet, but you will have a massive and amazing impact on them. So you just reminded me of that, Michelle. And I just wouldn't, there wouldn't be another business or another opportunity in this world where I could do that. So that's why Arbon is as special as it is. So just, just reminded me how amazing it is all over again. Right. So guys, I know this is what you, many people want to know, which is what could I expect to earn with an Arbon business by growing an Arbon business? So what I loved when I saw this was that A, the sky is the limit. And B, if, it, if it's meant to be, it's up to me. Like, I get to decide how much I earn from this business. So I'm going to give you levels and averages. But average time to get there is up to you. The average times are irrelevant. Because I've seen people reach levels and taken a few years, which is fine, because everyone's it's up to them. And I've seen other people reach the same level in months. So I'm not even going to give you average times, because it's up to you. I'll tell you what I did. So there are four levels you can reach which is already amazing because there's not 49, there's just four, which is brill. The first level is called district manager. Average income at this level is about an extra £150 per month, up to about £500 per month, working this business part-time hours in the nooks and crannies of your life, on top of what you're already doing in your normal schedules, day-to-day -day lives and careers. That, to me, was already making a huge difference when I started my album business. That was my rent covered a good 500 pounds coming in each month so never underestimate what that could be for someone just at that district manager level 
next level is area manager. And I got there in seven months. Um, and a lot of people say, you know, how did you get to, how did you grow your business quickly? You know, how did you achieve that? My answer is always because I was desperate. I was in debt when I started my business. Um, and, and I was, you know, you know, I was embarrassed by that. I didn't want anyone to know that I was in debt, all of these things. So when this was, when this opportunity came into my life, I literally grabbed it with both hands and I shared Arbonne with as many people as I could in as short a space of time as possible. And I got the products out to them as well. That's how I got my yeses. That's how I got my team building. That's how my network of Arbonne consumers grew. So that's what I encourage everyone to do. So area manager, average income per month is about an extra 850 up to a a good £2,000 per month as a good area manager. I remember my best paycheck as an area manager was over £3,000 working my business part-time hours. Oh, that just, you know, that was life-changing for me at that point as an area manager. I gave up the three part-time jobs that I hated at that point because I was earning enough as an area manager to focus on building that business and also auditioning and training and actually doing the thing that I wanted to do in life. So already an amazing income at that level and again working at part-time hours but the best thing about this level is this you can will your business your business becomes a willable asset I thought that was impressive when I started my business but now that I am a mum let me tell you this I am going to work my whole life building my album business because when the day comes that I leave this planet my income will go to my son so not only am I building a life of dreams for us now because that's what I want to do but I get to leave him a legacy and there no amazing choreographic job could I do that would leave that for him so I am building this now so that my family have an amazing life in the future when I'm not here anymore and I just think oh my goodness what else could I do they give that to my family I, I know that means so much to Michelle as well with little one number four on the way like it's just you know, what, how big is your reason for growing this business? Because it's, it's huge. The level, the next level, the third level out of four is regional vice president. This is where I am currently. It took me four years to get there, um, uh, to the day actually. And average income is about an extra three and a half thousand pounds per month up to, I know some regional vice presidents earning 8,000 pounds per month from their part time business. When I reached this level, it blew my mind that I was working it a fraction of the hours that I was working my full-time performing career, and yet I was earning more money. This is the difference between earning a profit and, and having to trade your time to earn money. Because no matter how much of a hard worker you are, there are only so many hours in a day, and don't we know that? You know, some of us working 10, 12, 14 hour days, but you can only earn so much because there's only so much time in a day. You need, or, or if you want, not only money freedom, but time freedom, which is the kicker for most people. Time is the thing you, money can't buy. You need to have a business that will give you leverage and that will be growing with or without you, whether you're there trading your time to earn money or not. That's what my album business does for me now. And like was mentioned previously, I think by Michelle, I now have a business in Perth in Australia a network of people that I don't even know that have come from one friend that I introduced to this business who now grow that network in Australia of Arbonne consumers. It grows while I sleep in the UK. I wake up and my business has grown and I don't even know any of them. That's genius. That's genius. That is why you need to um, own your own system that will work for you rather than be part of someone else's system. This is a way you can own your own. Okay, so, oh no, I forgot a really good point. Um, at regional vice president level, Arbonne is actually partnered with some amazing brands, Mercedes-Benz and Tiffany Jewelry. So at this level, you get a cash bonus each and every single month on top of your paycheck to pay for a white Mercedes of your choice has to be white because that fits in with our pure, safe and beneficial ethos of our company and products. But let me tell you this, the car did not motivate me. I couldn't even drive when I got the Mercedes. But now that I can, <laughs> now that I can drive, to have a Mercedes that is paid for me is, oh my goodness, the cherry on the cake. 
And do you know what else it is? It's visual proof and evidence that this business works. There are now over 100 Arbon Mercedes on the road in the UK, paid for by Arbon, um, through people that have grown their businesses to that level. And you will never see an Arbon shop. You'll never see an Arbon storefront or an Arbon billboard because we are the walking, talking advertisement for Arbon, that word of mouth recommendation. But that car is the visual evidence and proof that this business works and it's growing. So top level, number four, is called national vice president. Average income in the UK currently is about 13 to 14,000 pounds per month and upwards. Here is the thing I love about Arbon: There is no cap on what you can earn. And I didn't realize how important this was to me, but I've realized now it's massively important for me to decide what I am worth, no one else. So if I decide to introduce more people to Arbon to help more people use better, purer, safer, more beneficial products, or if I choose to help more people grow an incredible business that will pay them and their families for the rest of their lives, then Arbon and my paycheck will continue to grow. So I get to decide what I'm worth. No one, not even Arbon, says, Lucy, you're doing really well. We're going to cap you right there. Honestly, the world's your oyster with this business. It's just up to you. How much do you want it? Um, right, so that is the compensation plan. We can earn bonuses at every level as well. And also the other thing to remember alongside the income side is that we have a lot of fun building this business. You're not in it on your own. You're a part of a team. We go to Vegas every year for our global training conference. And oh my goodness, it is the most fun time of the year, every year. We have so much fun. We have UK conferences. At National Vice President, they get paid to go to Maui in Hawaii every January for their training. As a, as a massive thank you and appreciation from Arbon. this company knows how to say thank you and how to give back and how to recognize and appreciate people, you, for your hard work and effort, like no one I have ever worked for ever before in my life and ever will. So that's a bit about our compensation plan and what's possible. So Michelle, did you want me to say anything else or is that sort of covered that bit? I think that's, I think that's just great. 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 It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Fabulous. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I think we leave there because Lucy just finished that beautiful interview. I just want to say, if you have any more questions, go back to the person that has made you break the room. Or if you've lost touch, um, you can have a comment below and we'll let everyone know. And we'll let everyone know if you have any more questions. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies.